Engine horsepower, quite obviously critical in V8 supercar racing. But in the modern era, a lot of time is spent not only on power, but engine fuel economy and drivability. Now, I'm down here at Stone Brothers Racing in their engine shop. This is an area where they employ seven full-time guys to prepare and tune all their engines. This is what's known as Dyno Alley. There's one, two, three, four dyno cells here. Engine dynamometer cells, that is. And Pete Wallace, who drives this one here, um, is sitting in front of what's known as a superflow console on this engine dynamometer. Sorry, remembering a dyno is a device made for measuring engine performance. So you can see all his instrument there. The engine's obviously connected to some computers and some printouts. Um, and behind this double glass bulletproof room and door here is the engine sitting on the dyno proper. Now, if I look around here, you can hear the noise in here, very little, it's all soundproof. And airflow, big part of this, to try and simulate what's happening in the real world. These guys can actually control air temperature across the top of the engine and out the back here on the big fan at the back here. So they can tune the engine to, say, temperatures cold Bathurst uh, versus temperatures hot Indy. What it sits on is the... The, what's known as the engine brake. So this is effectively like a big water pump and the power of the engine is struggling against the water pump and that's all measured and fed back to the computers. So if we look at the engine and, it, and it's largely simulated how it is in the car with water and oil running in and through it, one of the critical factors is these little things here, these are lambda sniffers. So they're sniffing the air and the fuel coming out the exhaust and Pete inside there can monitor and adjust that to get the tunability of the engine exactly right. Over this side, we've got exhaust. One of the things the engine dyno will be used for would be trying all different exhaust configurations. Um, we've got the whole car exhaust and out the back there. But, but so, so it's for running in engines, obviously, before you put them in the race car, tuning the engines, trying different engine components, all very scientific. Beautifully done, beautifully made, beautifully engineered. So, Pete, we might um, start up an engine and uh, give it a run. OK, so Pete's just started the engine. Now, what we're going to ask Pete to do is what we call a full power run. Now, if we look at the instruments that he's looking at, these are the lambda sniffers, those little sniffers in the exhaust I was telling you about. So that's what they're monitoring and changing. Here's our power output and here's our torque output. And here's the revs, remembering that a V8 supercar engine in the race car is allowed only to go to 7,500 RPM. So that's what Pete will be tuning this engine up to. So let's just have a look, Pete. Let's, let's give it some. Listen to that thing sing. There we go. Four and a half, five and a half. 6,000. I tell you, that thing sounds like it's going to explode. Power output, so we saw about 611, 612 horsepower on that particular engine. Remember, they're running the control camshaft now. Now, you reckon that's great. Just check this out. I'm going to go for the headset. This is the bit I like. Pete, maybe just if you wouldn't mind, give that little zang up to 7.5. Have a listen to this. Ain't that something? Now, I can tell you, I used to live very close to here, and late at night, some nights, you'd hear dogs howling in the middle of the night. Had nothing to do with the full moon. I knew that was the night that Pete was down here running that bloody dino at one o'clock in the morning. 